Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Life Legion. Let's play some more of the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. Where we're helping the little godling. I was going to say godling child, but we don't know if it's a child or not. Um, but there's a little godling called Johnny who will tell us something once we can help him get his voice back. And that is going to involve searching this raven nest, which. What the hell? Okay. It appears to be protected by harpies, and there's some kind of dragon just landed on the hillside behind it. What the hell? Okay, so I don't think we know anything about harpies. Have, have these come up before? No. Okay, we do know about, about godlings, though. These are relics. Okay. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for lutin are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behaviour and appearance and, like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but, shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence, and so delight in the company of children, and usually only show themselves to the young. These hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behaviour. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village a godling watches over becomes too populous, or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. Oh, these sound like I quite like these. They sound cool. Okay, but unfortunately, no, I do know bugger all about harpies or whatever these are actually called in the game. And there are three of them, which does cause me some concern. So I'm going to quickly save here before we dive in. Let's see. Can I make this jump? Yep. Okay. So, uh... Wow! What the hell? What? Okay, I can't fight all of you. There's a wyvern. There's a bloody wyvern! They're meant to be a wyvern. Um, I don't remember signing on to fight a wyvern here. Ooh, okay. Got a bit of a bite to him. Lovely 30% slowdown there, gonna come in handy. As I miss entirely. Okay, this thing is getting a little bit pissed off and it's noisy as hell. I'm gonna kill you just to make you shut up, I swear. No, 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 come back. Crossbow to the face, hopefully. Okay, you're kind of down for the count. No, no, you're coming back again. Okay, we just killed a wyvern. And those are harpies. Okay, good. Um, not really sure what the wyvern was all about, I'll be honest. Took a little bit of damage from him. Nothing too serious. What do we actually get for a wyvern? Monster Liver, Monster Heart, a lot of stuff there. We're going to take it all, obviously. But that wasn't what I was here to do. I was here to fight harpies. I'm going to pop some water to get some of our vitality back. And actually, I'm going to jump into my inventory quickly to see what else we've got. Okay, I do have a lot of raw meat. Fried meat. I'm trying to see what I've got a lot of that could replace the water, because we're down to four of that. Probably need to actually go buy some supplies. Ham sandwich. I've got five ham sandwiches. Okay, we have some of that to hand. Okay, so we fought a wyvern, which was new. That was interesting. It wasn't actually that bad. Got most of our vitality back. I don't know how tough these are, but they're not like mini-bosses, so hopefully... And they're only level 6 as well. Hopefully, if we're careful, we can do this with what we've got on us. 
Unfortunately, I don't know what they're weak against, so I'm just going to throw bombs and stuff at them and see what happens. I'm assuming they're going to attack me when I get close to the nest. Yeah. Okay, can you come and fight me on the ground? Ah, okay. You were remarkably easy to kill. And we did just learn something about these guys. We'll check that later. That was actually a really easy kill. Can I loot the corpse yet? No, got to kill everything first. Are you going to come in and try and do a thing? Ooh, you are. Okay. Look, I can't be doing it with all this flying crap, so... Let's see if I can't... Miss with a crossbow. Damn it. Okay, who's closest? Okay, that's the other one down. And that one's... Okay, they're actually remarkably easy to kill when you get them on the ground. Ooh, and then you go flying a bit. Okay, we get Harpy Feathers. Harpy Talons. I think that's our lot there. That was actually a very easy fight, considering all the time we spent going around those guys. So, what is in this nest? That our godling friend needs a sealed bottle. Maybe he meant this bottle. Maybe. Okay. So that was interesting. We fought a wyvern and harpies. Let's check out the beastry on those. I want to see what they say. So the wyvern is a draconid. Wyverns are often mistaken for dragons, and though they are much smaller than their more famous kin and do not breathe fire, they are likewise extremely dangerous monsters. Especially feared are the so-called royal wyverns, who, like their namesake monarchs, are exceptionally ornery and extremely deadly. Hmm. Okay. Weak against potions, bombs, oils, and signs. Good. Now what about these harpies? So these are a hybrid. It is hard to say what is the most repulsive about harpies and their cousins, the shishigas. Their hideous appearance, their overwhelming stench of rot and bird excrement that clings to them, or their blood-curdling screech. Suffice to say that even rats, who dwell happily among the rankest faecal matter and autumn waste, give their nests wide berth. Okay, so they're disgusting, basically. Got it. Just imagine the most disgusting thing you can, and that's a harpy. That was actually a pretty good fight. We came out of there without too much damage. Now we've just got to go back to our little godling friend. He must be over here somewhere. There's a barrel down there. Can I do anything with that barrel? Oh, there's a house. Hmm. I wonder if that house is going to factor in. Some mushrooms. You never know when you're going to need mushrooms, so... Johnny, I have a bottle for you. Here. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper, Pick Prince Proximo, a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favourite words. Life without savouring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favours? Yes. I do want to ask about how you bottle someone's voice, actually. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Hmm. Okay. I, mean, I didn't really explain how you do it, but clearly it's possible, and it's kind of cool. But we have more important tasks to hand. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favourite part of the day. 
Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. So she did go towards the village. Okay. Yeah, let's find out more about Gran. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Fair enough. So do you know anything about the actual crones? Because they're who I'm trying to find, not crazy old grannies. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Okay. And Siri went straight towards these people. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. That old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay, so Johnny is going to be useful. So these crones, they don't sound fun. But we'll see. I'm going to have to fight more drowners on the way here, Johnny. Surely you should know where around all the drowners. Nope, of course, it's heading straight into a bunch of drowners, isn't it? Oh, actually, no. Water hag. Okay. Fine. Damn it. Fire! Okay, took a little bit of a hit there, but... Nothing too bad. I shoot with a crossbow. I'd like to shoot you with my crossbow, please. Ah. Oh no, I hit you. Good. I could try throwing a bomb at you, but you're not really worth it. Wait, come back here. Ugly old hag. I actually do get to call you legitimately a hag. Which is kind of amusing to me. Oh, hang on, I set you on fire, you're not gonna be able to do that. There you go, you're dead. And we've got a single drowner over a body. Don't know whose body. There we go. Cut you clean in two. Getting a nice little bit of experience and stuff out of this. Nothing on that body. What about the corpses here? Yeah, we do get a chance to loot you. Longsword and a bolt with bait. Interesting. Let's check out that longsword quickly. Bolt with bait. Hmm, not bad. Uh, longsword is nothing to write home about, though. Okay, come on, Johnny. Lead me to another bloody fight. all this stuff as we come across it. You never know what you're going to need in this game. It's kind of hard to uh, account for. And we're back to Granny. Joy. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gave. 
fire waning pale. <laughs> but Spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I am a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Okay. Let's ask about Siri. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Hmm. Be direct, I guess. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She's like a daughter to me. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Creepy. Matters to me. I believe we fit a nerve. He's bubbling like wealth and yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. How many of these crones are there? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me. Have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need a dagger? Yeah, this is a good question. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. Okay. 
Okay, I guess I didn't have much choice here. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Ooh, woman, is the young man the dagger? And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Nice dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. Okay. Well, ooh, hey, we leveled up. Nice. Well, looks like finding Siri is gonna be still yet more complicated. But we'll do what we can. Oh, Johnny's still here. But they're meant to be shy. He's not very shy. Okay, well I'm going to pause this episode here, so we'll be carrying on by talking to the Elderman of Downwarren about the village's problem. This dark force that's arisen nearby. I wonder if there's anything to do with the Bloody Baron's missing wife. We'll find out next time, so thank you very much for watching. Do leave a like, leave a comment, and feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!